when we're doing nothing, we're not being productive, and not being productive is something which doesn't hold a lot of space. Today, when you already feel like doing nothing and you are so unmotivated, you will go ahead and make decisions to keep you in that state. And what I'm saying by that is, you will go ahead and cancel those plans, cancel the appointments, just in order to be able to stay in bed or stay on the couch. And the problem here is that this kind of, this kind of feeling of relief you will experience after canceling plans and appointments is actually quite addictive and that is a problem here and I really want you to have a chance to become your best self and live a happy and fulfilled life because that's what you deserve. Hi, welcome back. I'm Catherine Louise. I'm a business and mindset mentor and I help women aged typically 35 to 50 to become their best self. So if that is something you're interested in, please make sure to subscribe. I really, really wanted to do an episode on how it really feels like when you feel like doing nothing and being unmotivated and how you can actually get your life back into moving. Because as a matter of fact, and that is actually a very sad fact, is that when you are in such a state and you just rather feel like laying in bed all day or on the couch, that you will most probably feel very lonely and partially that for some people is something they choose because they feel miserable and just don't want to be around other people. And for others, they feel like they are lonely because they have to be. They're like in that fourth state, if that makes sense. And that, as a matter of fact, will enhance that state even more. And I'm just really here to break it down for you so you actually understand what is going on and as I said before, it can get your life back to moving. Let me break it down with the fact that I feel like you really have to know that because when you understand what you're doing, when you actually see that pattern in your behavior, you actually have a chance of breaking through this one. When you already feel like doing nothing and you're so unmotivated, you will go ahead and make decisions to keep you in that state. And what I'm saying by that is you will go ahead and cancel those plans, cancel the appointments just in order to be able to stay in bed or stay on the couch. And the problem here is that this kind of, this kind of feeling of relief you will experience after canceling plans and appointments is actually quite addictive and that is a problem here. When you experience that kind of relief and I mean I'm just saying but I plead guilty. <laughs> I think we have all been there. Let's be honest there is nothing bad about it but when you have the chance to detect that kind of behavior it is actually to your advantage because then you know better for the next time. So in all fairness, I 100% understand that, you know, on certain days, you're just probably not feeling like going to certain appointments or plans, whatever. But what I will say and what I highly suggest to you is that when you are in a state like this, try to get out of the house. I would love to encourage you to call a friend that you like and trust, obviously, a very close and good friend, and try to make plans for something that you would usually, if you are not in a state like, state like this, really enjoy. Maybe you want to go for a walk, you know, just get out in nature or if the weather is really bad, maybe go to the movies and actually watch a movie that will enhance and, you know, lighten up your spirits, <laughs> whatever it may be. Or maybe you just want to go out and get that cup of coffee. What I would just love for you to do is really to get out of the house, A, because that already, you know, will get you in a new environment and lift up your spirits 
And then also what I truly love and recommend all the time is that when you get into a different environment, you actually have the chance to be inspired. And I feel like this is, even though it really doesn't feel like that and the bed and couch seems so much more convenient, but getting out and being inspired is actually the most beneficial thing you can do to get your life back moving. Another thing that I will love for you to do, and I mean it, is reward yourself. And I know for To most of us adults, especially crossing that big 4-0 or 30 or whatever age you're in, to the most of us, it will almost sound silly and like not making any sense, like you're an adult, why would you want to reward yourself? But I would love for you to remember that life really is stressful, especially when you have a career, you have a job, you have family, you have friends. And again, I think we oftentimes underestimate that so much, like everything going on in the world, even if you're in the lucky position that, you know, none of that is affecting you on a personal level, at least superficially, believe me, all of those news, all of the, you know, anxiety going on on this planet has an effect on you too. Like how this day and age society feels, how the temperature is almost, like the mood of everything going on on this planet right now does have an effect on you. So rewarding yourself, maybe with, you know, beautiful flowers, or maybe you've been wanting to get this book, or maybe you want to take yourself out to a museum Go ahead and do that. Reward yourself because there, in fact, is nothing silly about rewarding yourself and really acknowledging everything you put up with. Okay, this is probably the number one sentence. <laughs> I'm not just saying to my bestie and I'm, I'm giving that sentence to her all the time, but also to my clients is give yourself some grace. We have so much pressure going on in our lives. And, you know, specifically when you have a job and career, we tend to be so hard on us, like just to really function 24-7. And that's not what living a life is about. That's why it's called functioning and not living a life. However, you know, when the pressure is on, this is what we do. We just simply will function. At this point, I most probably sound like a broken record or something. But journaling, let me repeat it. Please start journaling. I know the idea of journaling for somebody who's probably never done it before might even sound exhausting. Like, oh no, another thing I need to do. However, I would so love to encourage you to actually try it out because the thing here is that it gives you such a safe space to really reflect on your true feelings and emotions and thoughts specifically. And I don't see how most of us have room or space or actually just even a chance for doing so at any time during the day. Let's be honest. Once we're out of the house, it's it's on. <laughs> so I would actually love for you to just really grab a journal and start writing and reflecting because it does in fact do something really positive to your system. And there are like a trillion different kinds of how you can actually journal. And what I mean by that is, you know, you can journal with journal prompts. You can buy books that will give you journal prompts or chances to journal on a daily basis. Others of us would just prefer like a blank book. They can just, you know, go ahead and let it flow on that piece of paper. I would just love for you to try out whatever works best for you and don't give up so easily because that li quite literally is putting magic onto paper. We as a society tend to be so results driven that we most often don't ever give ourselves breaks or grace or just having a little bit of patience with ourselves because it feels like when we're doing nothing, we're not being productive and not being productive is something which doesn't hold a lot of space today and I would just love for you to 
really slow it down and be patient with yourself. Then you will actually, in fact, experience improving day by day. And those phases or stages or seasons or whatever applies to you of feeling like really doing nothing and being unmotivated will in fact get less and less. And I really want you to have a chance to become your best self and live a happy and fulfilled life because that's what you deserve. And I, from the bottom of my heart, want you to remember that you can be and do at any point in your life anything you want to and you deserve it. Thank you so much for watching and for listening and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.